welcome to the Geek Easy Fellow Geeks. Got a package in today. It's one I've been waiting for for a while. It seemed this one just took forever to get here. And I can sort of see why because it's kind of big. Um, in stock trades. Get this unboxed. I don't know what it is. I've been waiting for a while for this. So I've got those two right there are ones that I have gotten that I haven't read yet. And there's this. Uh, I've got the inside. Nice little second one. Got a nice little art there. Boom. Okay, then I have. The Vault of Horror number four. Uh, getting as many of these as I can so that I love reading these. Okay, and then the one thing that <clears throat> made the box so big and it is making my collection complete. You'll see what it is here in a second. Oops, be careful. Uh, well, complete in as far as what I'm going to collect anyway. All right, so I have Zero Hour Crisis in Time Omnibus. Boom, boom, boom. Now I have Crisis on Infinite Earth. I have Infinite Crisis, I've got 52, and Final Crisis. And then this. Uh, oh yeah, let's supposed to be getting a uh, Supposed to be having a drink while we do this. Completely forgot to do that. Uh, there is all the the metal ones which I am not going to collect. Uh, I haven't read them. I've heard they were not good, and I just wasn't really interested anyway. Uh, but. Not gonna get them. So I have, I do have identity crisis in uh, a trade, and I also have the one where they have the uh, heroes in crisis. But, but anyway, so this will be collection here. Let me take this. Take. This off. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Okay, so we have that, and if you go, uh, everything you know about the DC Universe is under attack. The Universe will be shaken to its very foundations, and then rebuilt. Uh, in 1985, DC Comics dramatically altered comics, uh, Uh, wow. Turn on flashlight. It's on now. In 1985, DC Comics dramatically altered comics' original universe with Crisis on Infinite Earths, the unforgettable defining event in comics history that streamlined DC Universe continuity nine years later. Uh, the heroes of the DC Universe found the temporal fabric of the reality unraveling and the biggest threat since Crisis was but revealed in Zero Hour Crisis in Time. So, turn on flashlight. Torch is already turned on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Uh, I heard they were just doing this to, you know, clean up the t the timeline and everything. Uh, boom, boom, nice wraparound cover there. Got the nice little logo right there. White, a little. creative team and a table of contents which is really nice two pages and then we have a foreword uh, and it is written by Don Jurgens December 2017 so, that's a three-page thing, and then it, uh, it automatically jumps right into it. Now, this is, according to in-stock trades, they give a page count. I think they said it was 1,096 pages long, so it's definitely not the biggest but it is pretty big. I mean, these, this thing is you know, like those old uh, commercials, hefty, hefty, hefty. And so you get, uh, then in the back you have A bunch of uh, bunch of stuff dealing with the comics. Uh, okay, here zero hour for uh, for Earth. Uh, bunch of different like articles and things. Cover gallery. like this so it's a nice piece of the collection <clears throat> and I've never read it before so I'm going to once I get done with what I'm reading now as far as Omnis I think I'm reading the Houston Moon Knight which is the last Moon Knight one I might get to work on this and then do uh, Infinite Crisis, I've already read 52, and then finish up with Final. I'm three quarters of the way through that. But yeah, this could be really, really cool to have. So now I have all the collection. Can't take this into work, it's just too, too heavy to 
lug around and stuff, so I've got things, that I'm reading some of the horror ones that work. But anyway, let me know if you've read it, what you thought of it. Uh, like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comics.